I made a tincture sustain calculator. The links are to my YouTube channel and the talent planner with all of the tincture nodes. You have a 1% mana burn rate and the mana burn reduction goes from 0 to 70%. You can make a copy of the spreadsheet and then change all of the different ratios that you have control over. And especially the yellow ones, the mana burn reduction goes from 0 to 70%. Then you can check how many passives you need, then how much mana you have, how much region you have, and how much unreserved mana you have, the attacks per second, and mana cost per attack. On this one, I'm not sure if this is the correct calculation. And this one looks more promising. And I applied the first stacks do not deal burn mastery on the 50% I didn't apply yet. But I assume it works like this. Every tick has a 50% chance to not increase the amount of burn rate, the percent. If you have like 6 burns running, then the 7th tick is like 7 times 15, so 105%. So it's likely that the procs then and you don't have an increased burn rate and the same for 14 or 20 stacks if you can sustain 20 stacks and 50% then you only end up at 17 stacks instead of 20. On average for the tincture effect you have up to 151% if you have the 40% anoint which I assume is from a prismatic oil. It's this one Legacy of the Wilds tinctures have 40% increased effect while above 10 stacks then 30 from Ascendancy and 66 from Passives and a 50% node if you used a Life Flask recently. So the total maximum amount of Tincture effect you can have is 151%. We don't know if there are any clusters yet. And for the calculations, in this scenario, I have the six first burns who will not burn mana because of this checkmark and the mastery. If I don't have it, I can sustain it for like five seconds. If I enable it, I sustain at least the six seconds then I have the 7th second and then I burn out. Then you can modify your ratios. For example, if you only have 1200 mana, you go to here, you have less region, but more unreserved mana, and you attack only 3 times per second, the mana cost is 40 mana per attack, then you sustain it for like 2 seconds and then it gets disabled. This scenario you would spend your last mana point, then this would probably disable the flask. Maybe you need to research it more and add some exceptions to this rule. So even though you burn your mana because of the mana cost, it isn't from the mana burn and should last for 6 seconds anyway. Unless you spend exactly the last amount of mana and you end up with 0, then it could disable the flasks early. And also for the first 6 stacks, if you proc the 50% chance to not increase the burn amount, then maybe it lasts for longer than 6 seconds and maybe it can even last for 8 seconds if it proc like twice. And in this scenario, our mana cost for the attacks is too high, so we could use some passive points for like 30% reduced mana cost, so that's like 28 mana after this. Then we sustain for 5 seconds, and the 6 seconds we still have to burn immunity. Then we should reduce it even further, maybe with some rings for minus 7 mana, then you have 21. And then you could sustain up to 7 seconds, maybe use a slam skill that only attacks like twice per second, and then we suddenly can sustain like 13 seconds burn. Or without the mastery, you sustain up to 12 seconds. Definitely tell me on how I can improve the spreadsheet in the future. But for now I have to go to an event. And until next time, like and subscribe. Bye.